That is nice. Another interesting day. It's 2005. Ford GT500. It's an 05, yeah, no backup camera. Right. You see me? Keep coming. It just wants to go. I would have such a hard time not like I know. His tires are like two feet wide. <laughs> That was another treat. Another beautiful car brought up here from, uh, I'm guessing Florida. I actually didn't see the paperwork on that one. Uh, it might be the same owner as the Lambo. I'm not too sure, but 2005 Ford GT500. Man, that's a beautiful car. The owner's gonna be here right away to pick it up. So by the time we're done tying down this next freight, uh, it'll be gone already, but man, that's a nice car. Those nice cars, they don't hang around here very long. Once they get off the trailer, they're out of here. Another uh, delivery to a happy customer here in Winnipeg. There's a lot of nice cars in Winnipeg. So now I've got to bring this to another customer. Beautiful Harley. I wish I was taking it home. I wish I could say it was mine. But it's already tied down to the frame here, this little deck. So all I got to do is secure that. So that's easy enough. So I don't got to worry about this one. Uh, this here is Lexus. I just need to secure it and then bring it to the customer. This, I believe, came up from California or Arizona. One of these came from California, one came from Arizona. Can't remember which right now, but both coming home here to Manitoba. So this is how we secure them down. A strap that goes around the tire here. And it comes down to the trailer frame. I'm gonna do that on all four tires so that this car cannot move. Because the last thing we want is for this car to move. So we can get this off of here. Yeah. These bands are sometimes a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that in there, that in there. I got another one over here. Oop, it already blew away. It's not good. There's enough garbage around here. Don't need to be adding to it. These are all uh, ramp systems and uh, replacement ramps for loading and unloading ATVs and such. It's afternoon already. I don't know if our goose friends will be here. GT500, 
I'm not sure, but I'm wondering if it's the same guy with the Lambo from the other week. I don't know. But that was a nice car. That was a nice car. I wonder where, like, you never see them driving around Winnipeg, right? But I know they're here because we bring them here for the owners, right? They're here somewhere. I'm pretty sure they just store them here in, like, private showrooms. And then in the wintertime, they take them down to Florida and stuff and drive them around there because the roads are better down there. I don't know. Maybe you guys have seen them running around the city. I know there's a couple of Lambos that we brought up. Every now and then, I'll see them rolling around. You know what I'm happy for? It's a nice success story in Winnipeg. I love seeing people that are successful. Oh, my air conditioning still isn't fixed in this truck yet. They know about it. I've bugged them twice already, so I don't want to get, I don't want to annoy them. But hopefully they'll, uh, maybe they had to order some parts, and I'm pretty sure this thing needs a new air conditioning compressor or condenser or whatever they call that at the front. It's the same thing that broke on the Volvo when that guy backed into me at Argo Flying J a couple of years ago. Yeah, a rock went through my grill and busted it up a little bit. So maybe they're just ordering it parts or waiting for the parts to come in. Well, got to our delivery point. They're gonna help me take this off with a forklift. And uh, this car, after I get the securement off, I'm gonna roll right off the back. This is the first time I've actually unloaded a car off the back on my own like this. Usually we do it at the dock. Not today. Get inside here very carefully. All right. Lexus, nice. How do I use this thing? Do I just, if I'm in here, can I just, whoa, whoa, it's alive. That's pretty cool. When I press the, the start button here, it automatically goes back to the setting for the driver of the car. Cool. All right. Very, very carefully. Just gonna go back and check, make sure those tires are lined up. That one's lined up. This one's lined up. Let's bring her down. We got her off. Very nice car. Very nice car. here and the owner will be here to pick it up right away nice whoa my seat automatically moves back I'll close this window here all right that's that that's hot in here system it works really well it's a little bit of a chore to set it up and take it down though <laughs> but good thing we got a nice warm sunny day to do it in right 
So if you haven't realized and haven't recognized this intersection yet, this is our favorite intersection. Oh, nice car over there. Look at that, look at that. Nice. I don't know, the one we unloaded this morning was a little nicer, I think. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. He's gonna give her. He's gonna give her. I think I'm gonna give her too. Come to my stop. Come to my stop. And I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. Ha <laughs> ha! Give her. That didn't go so badly. It's four o'clock, so I expected rush hour to be a little bit more intense. Okay, you're gonna take that way and I'm gonna take this way. That probably works better that way anyway. works in here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, very important. Very important. Oh, that's hot. Wow. Woo. I do that every time. Man. This Canadian isn't used to this hot weather type stuff. I keep burning myself. Pretty sure I burnt my head. This is our first really hot day of the season today. Uh, it's probably in the 80s or 90s, Fahrenheit, somewhere in there. Hot enough to make this Canadian melt away. There's my dad over there, all hooked up and ready to head out on his trip. He's right over there with his four wheels on, just off to the right. I forget, he told me where he was heading. He's not going too far. We've got a long weekend coming up and he wants to be home for that. See if he's in his truck. Sneak up on him, okay? There he is. Hello everybody. The master. <laughs> the master himself. Hi. Yeah, still a lot to learn. Yeah. <laughs> but I better learn fast because won't be long. I gotta retire, so I gotta at least learn something yet. Yeah, well, you're almost done learning. I'm almost done learning. Then I'm gonna learn how to retire. Yeah, you know, that's a new, whole new subject. That'll be tough for you, I think. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a tough to sit down and stay sitting. Yeah. Outside of this seat, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be something. But I'm sure I'll enjoy it, though. Yeah. And he's gonna pull in behind us there. He's headed down to the U.S. He's had that truck a long time. <laughs> I think it's the 2003? He'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's the 2003 Freightliner, Freightliner Classic. Who knows how many miles is on it. I know he's had to change the odometer once. He's got it all figured out. He's got it all, he kept track of it, but oh, probably a few million for sure. Maybe three million. It just keeps going. Those old trucks, they never die. They just shift gears, right? He's headed down there. He wants to get uh, into North Dakota for sure. Maybe Minnesota. I think he's headed to Wisconsin. That Ford is really having a hard time pulling that little trailer. Just <laughs> We're going against wind right now, so I'm getting pretty bad fuel economy too. And that uh, ramp of his up there, those ramps just catch all the wind like a sail. 
But hey, he's got to go over the speed limit though, you know? Probably doing about 110. Can't just do the speed limit. Gotta go faster. <laughs> Should have bought a Chevy. No? Okay. Our apple tree is blooming. I've got to trim it a little bit because somebody thought that it was a good idea to plant an apple tree under the power lines. I guess I forgot that apple trees grow up. So it isn't touching the power line yet, but these lines here, that's for just, uh, that's just for cable. And as far as I know, nobody uses cable anymore. We all have streaming services and stuff and cable is sort of uh, a thing of the past. But the, the wires are still all here for people who do want it. So I gotta make sure the tree isn't gonna mess with those too much. Come back here, buddy. We got a little friend up there. I don't know if you can see him or not. Going from flower to flower. He was right down here on these before. I'm gonna show you our little little bee friends. And this flower bloomed just last night. It wasn't like this yesterday. Huh. And these are the flower pots that uh, Britt got us this year. They're already filling out like crazy. Very nice. Sort of brighten up the backyard a bit. 